five, four, three, two, one. So, if you didn't know, the uh, Tech Air technology um, is basically an airbag for a personal airbag, right? It what is. would you call a personal airbag? I don't want to demean it because it was like 15 years of yeah. research, and I don't know if you guys watch MotoGP. Like, I'm a crazy MotoGP fan. If you see Mark Marquez crashing, you know, because he's such a badass, he's always safe because he just gets back up and bounces up. So, I remember watching a MotoGP race two years ago and being like, what in the hell is that? Because I didn't notice before, but they were just, they would get up and they'd be like this and they would just run towards the bike and get right back on and keep going. In the race format, there are two deployments you can use. So a MotoGP racer could be in the midst of a race, crash, airbag goes off. He can run back to his bike, pick it up and continue his race. Tell me a little bit about Tech Air more than I can put it out there. So yeah, to, to kind of go to your point, it, it is a piece of personal protection equipment. Um, it's a compatible airbag a garment that can go in any of our race suits or uh, jackets that you wear casually, maybe uh, commuting to and from work. Uh, so the purpose of the airbag is a, protect, it's a full upper body protection um, that has a couple different uh, ways to be applied versus uh, for a race format or even on a street format. You can have a race jacket that we demonstrated today uh, and the algorithms and software can be converted to street. So you could literally leave your garage at home, ride to the track, let's say Circuit de Americas because we're in Austin. Um, you can unzip the airbag from your casual jacket or Oscar Charlie jacket, I should say. Put that into your Tech Air race suit that we had on display and do a track day for the day. So that's how versatile it is. But uh, again, long story short, this, this protective equipment, this Tech Air system is vital to uh, protect you in the event of either crashes on the road or unexpected accidents. And I know it sounds like a sales pitch, but uh, everyone at Revival, we're kind of nerdy about safety. Hit him, somebody hit him. Below the belt. Just nerdy about technology uh, in general, and we've all been really into the tech era and what it is and when it was going to come out. And then somehow, I don't know if it was Alan, our founder, who contacted you guys and just talked about how much we were into it and wanted to know about it. And Stefan, he's an engineer, and he was like, how does the algorithm work and how is this, how is this possible? So we're super into it. But what's really cool is we are going to do a collaboration with Alpine Stars since we've been become good, such good friends and they know that we're really into this technology that we get to do a collaboration jacket. And uh, when's that going to come out? Like, what are we, what are we looking at? So we're looking at uh, April of next year, 2018, uh, for the Revival collaboration with our uh, Tech Air uh, compatibility with the vest. Uh, it's going to be one-off, limited quantity production of uh, jackets that are obviously Alpine Stars and uh, Revival specific. And again, if you purchase the Tech Air airbag system, this could be used in that Revival, that one-off jacket we're talking about, as well as any compatible Tech Air garments that we sell currently. And our jacket's going to be the best, just so you know. And so maybe you should wait, you know, until Handbuilt Show to see that. But uh, is that technology available now? Can you buy Tech Air now? Absolutely can. It was released in the United States in uh, August of this year. Uh, so it's available to the public. Please, so get your hands on one, please. I want it. Uh, I'll, I'm actually probably going to get it. I need to spend my pennies. But how much is your body worth? I always say that. How much is your head worth? Spend the money. Um, well, thank you. Thank you guys, we really appreciate you having us here and thanks for letting us uh, show what it's all about. Thanks Dominic.